Hello everyone. Welcome to JCE Connect Computer Graphics Lab. In today's session we'll be learning about our fourth experiment that is to draw a color cube and allow the user to move the camera suitably to experiment with perspective viewing. So let us begin by knowing what exactly we are going to do in the program. So we are going to draw a color cube and allow the user to move the camera suitably and experiment with perspective viewing using OpenGL. So OpenGL is the open graphic library uh, that is available uh, for our uh, graphic programs. So what we are going to do here is we have to draw a color cube so all of you know that a cube has eight corners and uh, 12 edges uh, so we are going to draw a color cube giving different colors to the cube so it's going to be the blend of colors using gn polygon and then we are going to allow the user to move the camera that is we are going to uh, allow the user to uh, interfaces with the keyboard or mouse with the program so that whenever he or she presses the desired keys the cube rotates accordingly and it shows different views we are also going to implement the frust uh, frustrum in our program so that we can see a part of our cube a rectangle uh, cut part of the cube so uh, okay uh, let us start uh, with understanding the algorithm for this program so here is the algorithm so in the beginning uh, we render the cube using the array of vertices rendering is basically giving a real life uh, image for it so first we are going to render the cube using our uh, a reshape func and then we obtain the coordinates of the cube with the origin at the center of the cube so basically we are uh, going to define the matrix that is what is the what is matrix where we are going to give the different uh, uh, different points of a cube corner in form of x y z assuming that the origin uh, the, the center of the cube is at the origin then we are going to draw the six faces of the cube using the three points that is we are going to mention uh, the cube points that is the corners using polygon that is gl polygon and then we are going to use normal normal vectors as well as uh, sorry uh, normal vectors as well as colors matrix to uh, draw the cube and increment the angle with respect to the current axis uh, current axis by user specified value that is every time you press a key or a mouse button we are going to change the value of our angle that is we need to rotate the cube into particular direction so respectively we are going to change the uh, direction and we'll get to know uh, as we uh, see the program so the next step is to display the cube on the screen screen and rotate by the current value of angle around current axis this we do using the display function first we are going to show a simple cube and every time we use a keyboard or a mouse click a mouse function to change the values then we displayed the display it again okay so we'll understand this when we'll uh, execute the program and uh, and the next last step is to repeat these steps uh, that is a uh, step three to step uh, step three uh, and step four and as i said we can keep changing n number of values in our keyboard and n number of mouses 
that is basically uh, the program is we get the perspective the the whole of 360 degree and then we stop the program so first is the initialization of our header files and next is the initialization of three major matrix that we are going to use in the program that is uh, gl float vertices gl float colors and gl float normals now in our main function the major the idea which is different from the other uh, usual function is to the glut double which we use in the display mode which is for the two display buffers that we are going to use in the program same goes in the uh, glut depth and because it's a 3d program we need the uh, uh, glut depth buffer double so the three main function in our program is uh, the uh, the display function the mouse function and the keyboard function so let us see the first function that we are going to discuss that is uh, reshape my reshape function so what reshape does is it it gives us the view of the cube every time we change its transformation that is we rotate it uh, rotate it right it again forms the view so first we will the first we'll see the viewport and then we'll see then the other uh, what uh, viewport does is it uh, basically defines transformation and the matrix mode helps in identifying which matrix is currently used matrix that is the current matrix so in the reshape matrix we first project the mat uh, matrix and then we are going to model view it now one more function in this uh, my reshape function is that gl load identity right so what this function does is it replaces the current matrix with the identity matrix and then we have uh, the gl frustrum so next that is the display function uh, simply uh, like the name suggests whatever we do in the program it clearly displays first of all it clears the background like we discussed in our previous uh, sessions previous lectures also in our previous labs and that the color underscore buffer underscore bit uh, is basically used to clear the background which takes the argument bitwise or uh, or of uh, several values and it is a constant which indicates buffer currently enables for color writing and with uh, along with that is the or operator uh, that is with gl depth underscore buffer underscore bit which is for the depth of the bit so basically the gl clear clears the color buffer bit and also the depth buffer bit the next function that is the gl clear color uh, is nothing but the background so if you give all zero values the background will be black if you give all one values the background will be white and other combinations and again we have glu look at look at basically defines a viewing transformation and that is it has nine parameters the first three is the view the viewer that is how a viewer looks at it viewer one or viewer two followed by that we have three uh, rotate functions that is basically three different rotate functions for three different axes when the cube is rotated and then finally we have color cube and glut swap buffers okay so next let us understand now what is the color cube function it is simply the uh, the color that we give on the each side of the cube that is using the polygon function and various combinations of the colors as the the codes as the parameters to the uh, function polygon now let's see what is there in this polygon function 
with this given parameters. So this is the polygon function uh, with the four parameters that is int a, b, c and d. And it start what it does it it begins the polygon and in that we give three t values for each that is the color uh, colors normal and vertex. So basically we are drawing the vertex with some set of colors. So four uh, vertices and then we have all the color combinations for all these four. So all these four vertex of the polygon we have colors, normals and vertex like this. And ultimately in the end the GL end which ends the polymer fun polygon function. Now next let us understand what is key and mouse functions. Uh, individually in the mouse functions uh, function as the name suggests it is basically to handle the movements or uh, that is there from the mouse when the user is trying to view the cube and keys is the function to view uh, the cube when the user is trying to use the keyboard controls so in the mouse function you can see few keywords that is button uh, which is the button that we pressed left button middle button or right button and the state that is glut down state and with this with that we are also assigning the access value that is access 0 access 1 and access 2 and then we are ultimately incrementing the access value that is theta value by 2 so if the theta axis is greater than 360 then theta axis is again equal to is uh, assigned as 360 again and the display function is called that is what happens in the mouse function now in the keys function that is for the keyboard the unsigned character key with along with that two parameters int x and int y so if if uh, that is in the keys function the unsigned character key is nothing but any key in that the user presses so here in the keys function you can see that if key is equal to small x small x is used to uh, uh, is used to control the cube if it is to be rotated on the x axis and in the opposite direction if you want to rotate it is capital x and so on for the small y for y axis rotation uh, clockwise is in, uh, capital y for anti clockwise and similarly for the z key for z axis and ultimately again we are going to display the uh, we are going to call the display function to display the the controls that uh, hap that is happening with the cube now having discussed this uh, let us now see the output how the output looks okay so this is our output this is the cube uh, our color field cube and i'm pressing the left mouse button right now so it is rotating around z axis sorry the uh, x axis so you can see that on each face there are different set of combination of the colors as we have set in the polygon function. Now let us click the right mouse button and see how it turns. So here what you see is the frustrum. Now instead of frustrum in the program if we would have, if we would have written ortho this wouldn't have been visible to us. So that is because of the frustrum that we are able to see the cut part of the uh, uh, of our cube that is the first term okay now let us bring the cube to the straight form now okay yeah yes we have a straight cube almost straight now next now next we are going to use uh, the small x key and you can see it is going far and plus uh, and plus x is going to get us near and it is going to rotate a little bit on the x-axis like 1.0 it is going to rotate so let us use small y small y and this is capital Y this is small z and this is capital Z so if we keep on doing different different uh, combinations 
so at one point it will become invisible and you can see that it is invisible now so let us bring it back okay and that's it so that is all about our cube and our fourth program so thank you for uh, watching this and if you have any video uh, any doubt anything uh, with respect to this program uh, then you can ask in the comment section down below or ask me personally however and uh, try to uh, modify the program uh, give some different values analyze the program and uh, the uh, observe the output so you will be learning a lot of things from that as and when you modify try to experiment with the uh, values parameters inside the uh, code right so that's all for today's lecture uh, see you in the next one thank you